everyone, it's Lily or Cool Race Bunnies, and today I'm going to be doing my annual 2014 Christmas ornament exchange video slash watch me craft video. If you guys have been subscribed to me for a while now, you may know that every year I like to do a secret ornament exchange, secret Santa kind of thing with my siblings every year. We can either choose to make each other an ornament or we can buy each other an ornament. Um, I usually make mine. So uh, if you guys are at all interested in the ornaments that I've done in previous previous years, I have two videos up and I will link them on the screen and in the description box down below so you can check them out. But this video today is about this year's ornament. I had my sister and I decided um, to make her a resin piece ornament it, instead of a polymer clay ornament this year. I just kind of wanted to do something different and I don't know, my sister's kind of really like fun and bright and I felt like she would really like something that had her dog in it and like really sparkly and glittery stuff so this is the um, ornament that I ended up making it has a nice little red ribbon here I attached a silver bail onto this resin piece and then inside the resin piece I have a picture of my sister's dog Max he's actually wearing my scarf in this picture and he's very very cute I have some snow falling in the background a little heart here kind of looks like he's sitting on some snow and on the back is a nice white dome uh, again, if you guys want to check out my other ornament exchange videos, I will have them down below. But um, for the rest of this video, I'm basically just going to show you guys um, the simple process of how I made this resin piece. Kind of just like a watch me craft video. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. I use Envirotex Lite resin and I get this at my local craft store which is Hobby Lobby and it is very, very expensive stuff. Um, the mold that I'm using is just a heart mold and it's shiny on the inside which I like because it makes the resin piece come out shiny. So for the pictures of Max, I just basically photoshopped him into different sizes and then I tried to figure out which size was best to fit inside the mold. And then after that, I just cut him out. I used packaging tape to kind of laminate the front and the back so that way the resin wouldn't eat away at the image. Since it was just printed on regular printer paper, I covered the front and back with a piece of tape and then I kind of stuck it together and made sure that there were no air bubbles in it or anything like that. And then after it was all sealed in, I cut it out and I left a border of tape around it so that way it was all sealed. So for my first layer I just made a batch of clear resin and I was trying to be very careful because I forgot my gloves when I made this project. Um, but I put in the picture of Max inside that first layer of resin and I kind of just moved him around and made sure that all the bubbles and everything was covered with a popsicle stick. So the next part is glitter. So I took some cellophane glitter and I just sprinkled it at the bottom and kind of, you know, varied it out as I got higher. And then I took these iridescent hearts and just sprinkled them all throughout the top part. After that, I let this piece cure for a little bit and then I took some acrylic paint and then put some white dots in the background so that way it looked like it was snowing. After that, I took some pink acrylic paint and then I just painted a little heart with a dotting tool right next to him. And this is kind of what it looked like and then I mixed another batch of resin and then for this batch, I decided to mix in the different glitter colors. So I'm taking this blue iridescent glitter and this white iridescent glitter and sprinkling it in and mixing it through. Then after that, I decided to add some of this pink glitter, so I added that in and then mixed it with the popsicle stick. After that, I poured this glittery layer of resin on top, and then after I poured it, I kind of decided that it wasn't glittery enough, so I took some more glitter and I kind of just sprinkled it on top, giving the top half more blue and then the bottom portion more white to make it look like he was sitting on snow. And then after a couple of hours, this is what it looked like and it had hardened. So um, after this point, I just popped it out of the mold and as you guys can see here, it was really shiny when it came out, but I decided I wanted to do a white background. So I took some resin pigments and just mixed it into a mixture of resin. And then after that was thoroughly mixed, I just layered it on the back side and gave it a nice white dome. And after 
after everything was spread out, I just covered it with a plastic container so that way no dust would get on it. The resin piece was fully cured, so then I decided to attach a bale on the back. I scored the back with an X-Acto knife to give it some texture, and then I applied some E6000 glue, and then just, you know, glued the bale on the back. After that, I took a red ribbon and I tied it into a nice little hook thing to make it into an ornament, and then this is what it ended up looking like. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up because it helps me out a lot and it only takes a second. If you want to check out my other ornament exchange videos, I'll have them linked down below and if you want to see what I got for Christmas, you can head over to my second channel to watch that video. I know this video is a little late into the Christmas season, but I still hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!